Hey folks, I just got an email from a prospective um, cybersecurity student or someone aspiring to get into the cybersecurity field. And the question was, how can I pass the CAP exam? How can I pass the CAP exam? And they were looking for pointers. Um, so the first thing I emailed the person was to download NIST 800-37 revision 2. This is a free document that you could download online for free. Um, and uh, just go to Google and type in NIST 800-37 revision 2 and you'll see um, the link to download. I'll try to put the link in the, in the bio. Uh, make sure that when you download this document, make sure that you read it through and know the RMF steps. Know all the RMF steps and make sure that you know the roles and responsibilities at each phase of the RMF. Also make sure that you know how each phase of the RMF aligns with each phase of the SDLC. Uh, SDLC stands for System Development Lifecycle, or in some cases they say Software Development Lifecycle. So um, the other uh, pointer that I gave this person was to visit um, the ISC squared website and that's the link over here and download the cap guide so they've got a guide that kind of walks you through the process of registering for the exam taking their training um, and downloading the guide uh, which outlines the exam um, uh, outline which gives you the objectives of the exam. All right, so go ahead and download that. It's for free. Um, the other tip, or this one, I'm not too many people know of, is the ISC Square uh, Cap flashcards. So there's a mode where you could go do flashcards, and there's a mode where you could do like a test. Um, that's the link over there. I'll try to put that in the bio. Um, that's very helpful. Um, pointer number four, I uh, have a website called cyberfirstacademy.com and uh, there you could download, I'm sorry, not download, you could visit the um, and register for the practice tests. I've got um, the CAP free practice tests. Uh, disclaimer, the practice test that I have on the site is for NIST 800-37 Rev 1 but I still think that it contains uh, valuable information on there that will allow you pass the exam just know that the RMF is no longer six steps but now seven steps with uh, an additional step added called the prepare step and that's considered step zero okay so disregard the steps information in there. It's no, no longer six, but seven. And disregard the task numbers on there, but still pay attention to the things that are done at each phase of the RMF, because the exam is basically going to test you on uh, the roles, responsibilities, uh, and what is done, what steps are done at each phase of the RMF. So that you could have a question that says something like, um, I'm trying not to reveal what's on the test. Uh, so you could have a question that's asking you about a particular step and they'll say, hey, what's done before this or what, what's done after this? And this is no surprise because that's on the exam outline, okay? Um, the other thing you could do is buy the official ISC squared guide. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's 
So that's the second edition. I believe that's the only one they've put out. Uh, this is the latest one they've put out so far. Um, and I don't think there's a third edition so far. But uh, this is a helpful book if you have money to spend on it. If you don't, just go to um, the ISC Squared site and download the guide. And it will tell you what um, links to uh, visit for the preparation for the exam. Okay. I also have um, a video module on how to pass the CAP exam. And I go into great detail on how to pass the CAP exam, tips, tricks. Um, it's more like a boot camp, um, this module. And uh, you can get this at my website, cyberfirstacademy.com forward slash courses, forward slash information system security officer training. All right, so don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cyber First Solutions, and follow me on IG at Cyber First Solutions. And if you're looking for ISSO training, you can purchase my course at cyberfirstacademy.com. Look for the ISSO training. Uh, it's, I believe it's the cheapest out there. Um, I hope you found value in what I shared. And I'll see you next time.